there was uh, the message given by the powers that be, uh, the Debec school had no future. Okay, now you have to take that slowly, had no future, okay? So our fight was to challenge that. I mean, a rural uh, community has few institutions, and what institutions they have are important. And so to lose the school, the school is crucial. To lose the school, it, it will uh, it'll be a loss. It will contribute to uh, the sort of the, you know, where it becomes kind of a bedroom community for, uh, you know, for a larger center. I, I really think that the smaller classrooms are... Um, uh, benefit to children in a lot of ways, uh, more one-to-one. -one. Uh, it's a small school, so you were in contact with the principal and the teachers. They always knew one another on a first-name basis, so that was excellent. And you always were a part of the, the teams, the drama, the music festivals. I don't think anybody was chosen for anything. Everybody could participate and everybody was successful. So. It was a really, really good experience to have your children go to a small, rural elementary school. was, I think, five or six meetings with the parents of DeBec. Um, there may have been more, actually. The policy 409 is, is what they went through. When a school is slotted for closure, they have to go through this policy, and it means so many meetings. And I, I attended, I think, four or five of them. And we were always told that we would, you know, have our students go to Southern Carlton. That's where we would be shifted to. And to me, if, if that is a site that's not available anymore, then it has to come back to the people here in Debeck and the students and parents here to discuss that again. Because this is a whole change in the plan and in the recommendation. And we were told in meetings that if it couldn't happen at Southern Carlton, it definitely would come back to us. There was concern about how many um, um, minutes the kids would be on the school bus to go to school. Uh, I know right now uh, it's a concern for me because um, Alec, our oldest, he gets on the bus at 2.45 and he's on the bus until 10 after 4. That's a long time for a kindergarten kid to stay on a bus. For us, reopens uh, the whole, you know, the whole discussion in, in, in our view around, uh, you know, the future, future of schooling, uh, because to have two schools in town and no rural school is uh, uh, that, that is discriminatory. expectations and aspirations for the school always were really quite modest but it certainly in principle you know the message should be well it could have a future and it uh, should have a future because at the time there was 80 to 90 kids here and there was a, a lot going on we tried to keep the school open but it's slotted for closure now so yeah. you know it's inevitable it's going to happen just when we don't know I think Debec will always be here but that will be a blow to the community because I think, you know, a school is an important part of the community just like churches are and, and that type of, 
of uh, building and that type of culture that you have in your community. So I think it will be a real blow uh, to the community because as Hugh has said, there are some young people that are moving back here because this is the kind of atmosphere that they want their child to be educated in and be a part of. And I know this is not a real new building, and it's all not bright and newly painted and all that, but there's a lot of fantastic education going on in this building. And these children here are not at any deficit in any way as compared to somebody else educated in another school. <laughs>